In looking at the lower vein system of the cat, uh, we run into some problems because we had to remove uh, some of the digestive system. Uh, we move, removed the liver, we removed the stomach, we removed all the intestines and so on. So I'm just going to fill you in a little bit of what we have cut away uh, when we've done that. Coming off of the heart as we go down, we're going to see the inferior vena cava or the lower vena cava. We have superior and inferior vena cava. It picks up again down here. Um, but what we've cut away are some of the other ones in between. So I'm going to fill in some of those gaps for you. First of all, there's the, the vein that will feed the diaphragm itself, and we call that the phrenic vein. There's the one that leads to the stomach, and that one's going to where the stomach was, and that's called the uh, gastric vein. We have a celiac vein, C-O-E-L-I-A-C. That basically feeds the upper viscera um, that's going to be up in the upper mesentery. We have lower mesentery ones uh, along the way. We also have, because we removed the liver, we won't see it, we also have the liver one, which is called the hepatic vein. Okay, so those are going to be uh, the structures that we missed because we cut those away. So we can go right into uh, what we can see. We see a little remnant up here of what leads into the adrenal gland or the suprarenal gland. This is the adrenal lumbar vein. Adrenal because it's the adrenal gland right here. And we're going to find it's also with uh, feeds the lumbar region of the body. So the adrenal lumbar vein right here. Now, these veins right here will lead into both the kidneys, so we'll call those the renal veins. Now, as we work our way down, we're going to see there's a little bit of variation depending on the sex of the cat. As we work our way down, this is the inferior vena cava. We'll see uh, the ducts coming out of the kidneys as well as they lead to the urinary bladder, so we don't want to cut those. We'll move them off to the side. But what we'll see on this cat, we'll see that there is a set of veins that will lead directly to the ovaries. These are the genital veins. Now what those will do will feed the ovaries and if you have a pregnant cat you'll actually see that this vein will dilate greatly. So it will, you'll see a lot of variation when we get to that. So we follow the genital going down and here's one of the major landmarks we're going to see. These are the iliolumbars. As soon as we see the iliolumbars, then we're going to be looking for a split. This uh, iliolumbar region, ilium referring to the iliac crest, lumbar referring to the lumbar region. Okay, so we have two lumbar regions. One is going to be a little bit higher up, the adrenal lumbar, and one is a little bit lower, the adrenal lumbar. Now, I said we're going to be looking for a split. This is where it gets kind of interesting and, and kind of challenging because we're used to seeing the veins on top of the arteries, but here you'll see that the aorta, the abdominal aorta, actually goes over the top of the veins. So I'm going to have to move, in this case, away the arteries to see the veins. We're going to be seeing that the artery, if I pull that away, we're going to be seeing that the artery will actually be hiding a split in the vein. Now most cats will see that the split will take place pretty evenly, follow the same pattern as the artery. In this cat, however, we'll see that the split takes it goes a lot higher up here on this uh, leg, which is the cat's right, than on this side, which is the cat's left. Usually it's an even split, but there is a lot of variation between this so we don't get thrown off. What this does is this goes to the legs themselves. Now since this will branch a little bit further down, which I'll point out, we call this the common iliac. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky and you have to look in really close and I'm afraid the camera will not allow for me to go any further in, but hopefully I can lift this out for you so you can see it a little bit better. You'll see that the vein in fact does, this common iliac is right here, this vein does specialize to go to an internal iliac right here. After that point, this vein becomes the external iliac. So we're talking just the common iliac from here to here. Just that little branch. Then it'll go down underneath to the internal iliac. And then we have our external iliac. Now this external iliac, what it's going to do is it's going to keep on going and it'll make some divisions. The next division we're going to be seeing is a deep femoral, okay, which is going to run right here. It's actually going to run, just like it says, it's going to run deep. So it's going to go around to the back side and run very, very deep. So that's a deep femoral. And 
It's a little bit trickier to see, but there is one to this side right here. It lost its coloration, unfortunately, but this is the lateral femoral. What it's going to do is it's going to run lateral. One runs deep, one runs lateral. After that point, it's important to see those. This is right in the groin region, so we'll be able to see them real quick. Um, after that point, after that division, then this vein becomes the femoral. Okay, down to here. Now, after that point, we're going to be looking for some branches. So the femoral is defined by this section from here to here. Again, the artery runs right on top, so you want to be careful uh, and look closely for that. So this region in between the two uh, probes is going to be the femoral. Now we're looking for another branch. This one is going to be going medially. This is going to be going into the semimembranosus. Uh, it's underneath the gracilis. I've cut away the gracilis and the sartorius. This one is called the muscular vein. That will continue into the saphenous all the way down the leg. That's the most prominent one. Now if you take a look anteriorly, or on the upper side, we're going to be seeing the articular vein. So I, I think of it in terms of, if you know where your femoral is, here's your medial vein. Medial is muscular, lateral is going to be your articular, and saphenous is going to be continuing down. So to review, if I work my way backward, we've got saphenous, articular, muscular, femoral artery, or sorry, femoral vein, We've got the deep femoral, which is running medial. On the other side of that, you're going to find your lateral femoral. Usually this is a stronger blue. This makes its way to the external iliac. Deep down inside, we had the internal iliac. Urinary bladder is in the way in this case. That'll make its way to the common iliac, which makes its way up to the inferior vena cava, ileal lumbar, genital, renal, adrenal lumbar up here.